Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm reviewing the Banks Infinity iPad Stand. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review sample provided by Banks. However, all the opinions in this video are my own. The price of this stand is US $79. Now in this video, I'm just going to present to you my findings and you can decide whether or not this is worth the money. So this is a magnetic iPad stand that is also foldable and the main selling point here is it's foldable because currently in the market there are many iPad magnetic stands but not many are foldable and the build quality is extremely solid because this is made with full metal except for the base which is hard rubber and the padding for the magnetic plate this is also hard rubber and as you can see the magnetic attachment, the magnets, uh, they are really strong. This design is very clean and simple. The metal has this nice matte texture to it. There are no exposed screws and this hinge here, you can rotate it 90 degrees or 180 degrees and you can tilt it as well. The hinge is quite stiff, but you can adjust this quite easily. Because the stand is metal, this stand is actually quite heavy and the base is very stable on the table. So the magnets are so strong, you have to hold the base to pull off the iPad. The hinge at the base is very stiff. Let's see how this folds. I'm going to fold the base together first and then the top. This is how flat the stand can be when it's folded. You can also fold it this way. So this is very compact and it's not going to take up much space in your bag. The finishing is very well done. All the edges are beveled so there are no sharp edges. And we have rounded corners at the corners and that's the Banks logo. It's a very small unintrusive logo on the base. I don't have many bad things to say about this stand. It's a beautiful stand, it's sturdy, it works fine. There is one minor design issue though. If you want to use the iPad vertically, in vertical orientation, you have to tilt the iPad first before you rotate. If you don't tilt the iPad before you rotate, the corners of the iPad is going to hit the base. So don't worry about my iPad because this one already has a lot of dents. So you have to tilt the iPad first before you rotate. And when in vertical orientation, the distance from the bottom of the tablet to the table is 2.9 centimeters. When it's in landscape orientation or horizontal orientation, this is 6.2 centimeters. And lastly, the base is stable enough for you to draw on the iPad. Alright, so that's it for my review. I hope it's useful. See you guys again. Bye.